Minor League Action is coming straight to you. Expansion Franchise. Welcome back, everybody. We got the Gwinnett Stripers taking on the Durham Bulls. And look at, we got Parker Dunshe taking them out. He's 8-8. Eight and eight. You got to get him to above 500 record. Yeah, everybody's favorite AAA pitcher in our system. <laughs> the only guy that has any possible future in the major leagues in our AAA system. What? So far, so good. Come on now. Well, you don't think Galigalau is going to make the majors? As a, as a pitcher. Oh, okay. Starting pitcher. Got it, got it. What is Preciado doing here? I don't know, but I traded for him in the preseason. We got him from the Cubs, and that is a bad play. His, bad play. His head is not in it, guys. Well, he makes good catch here. He should make the catch. He does. And the runner will have to go back, go on back. But the Stripers are up on you one nothing. Dunchy got to find a way to come through here. Nice little change up, low and away. Good pitch. Able to get out of it. Let's go bottom three. We've got... Marcano. We put a Marcano. Yeah. We got him from the Pirates in a trade. So we're thinking he might step into that kind of Falefa role next year where he's our super utility guy. And there's Preciado laying a good bunt down. Might be a little bit too hard, but does advance the runner, so things get there. And then, oh, a Victor Victor Mesa sighting. Guy that started on the big club, maybe, you know, maybe he's got a little too things. high. Yeah, he's got some things to work on here in uh, the minor leagues. But here's a big hit there. Nice job by Nomar Mazara to get back on base here. 1-1 one, one game, bottom third, two down. Got to come through now with a runner in scoring position, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Victor Mesa Jr. right down the line. That's in foul territory. That's going to score Nomar Mazara. He's had it for two. And Victor Mesa Jr. here with a double, an RBI double. What's the status here with, you know, you already mentioned Victor Mesa. Mesa. Victor, Victor Mesa. Victor, Victor Mesa. Get it right. <laughs> no, Victor Double Mesa Jr., he's a little bit younger and probably a little bit better, and he is a threat to make the, the, the club next year. And then this guy we're counting on to make the team next year, Bryce Ball. I do like me some Bryce Ball from the Cubbies. Showing a little bit of power there. Oh, my God, you're going home. He's yeah. going home. He's, he's testing it. Nice job, Victor Mesa Jr. Do you like Mesa Jr. better than Victor Victor? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Alex Claudio, we're going to jump all the way now to the top of the ninth. He does let two runners on base, but with two down, Bryce Ball able to corral this and make the play, and the Durham Bulls will get a victory. So Parker Dunshee pitched really well against the Stripers. Nine hits given up. He now moves to 9-8 and eight yeah. on the season. We beat Ian Anderson, so it was a bit of a test today. As we see the stats there, Victor Victor 0 for 4. And then Mesa Jr. won for two. Bryce Ball had two hits in this one. And Preciado also got on base a couple times. A couple doubles. Mazzara, Ball, Mesa Jr. So got that little power stroke happening here. All right, let's take it down a level to double yep. A. Yep. This is your double A squad, the, the Blue, Blue Wahoos. Wahoos. Yeah, I'm ready for this because we're taking you on. So yeah. we're getting a little prepper for the next game, guys. Will be the Sun Sox versus the Saucers. So we're getting a little minor league prep with user v user now this is ryan smith we acquired him in the angels trade and he looks like he might be worth a shot here eventually at triple a yeah. he's working on his way up he's gonna strike you guys out and we go now here to the bottom of the first against michael grove yeah you know i mean grove in real life is not doing that poorly but in this game and double a He's got an ERA over six, so I don't know what the problem is necessarily. <laughs> and he gives up a hit to Knowles here, another guy that you I, acquired, and I you do. are just toying with me. I, I know I know what the problem is. It's the defense here behind him. It must be the defense. Deshaun Knowles there with a single runner will advance. Now Phil Goslin, our number three hitter, going to hit a ground ball here. You're going home. <sighs> you had him at first. Guaranteed. I know. We're trying to keep you off the scoreboard, though. Here's Norel Gonzalez, deep drive into the gap. Look at Gilliam trying to make the play, not gonna get there. It's gonna go up against the base of the wall. And that is a two run triple, possibly sliding in. He's out. I gave you an out there. You finally get an out. <laughs> okay, I like it. We're gonna jump here to the top of the third. Swing and a miss. Good little change up. Oh, two. That's not a strike. Yeah, Excuse good me. job by the frame by the catcher, and then a high fastball. Gonna strike out the side here in the third inning. Let's go bottom third. Base hit here for Phil Goslin. Right down the line in foul territory now. Gilliam, we're going home. That's, uh, I mean, that... 
<laughs> I mean, what? You, what are we doing? You threw that pretty hey. nicely. I, I don't know what happened here, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I was like, I was planning on going home as soon as the ball was still in the air. He's like, I, I did that after. I this. think I accidentally like, I, I just didn't time it up right. Anyway, Phil Gosselin drives in the run. We're, we're up four nothing, and Ryan Smith just painting his double A umpires. They're pretty bad. Give me a robo umpire any day of the week. Kyron Paris with a nice play off balance, and then another high fastball and another swing and a miss. So Ryan Smith, suck. <laughs> he's just carving you guys up. A high changeup. Who would have thought that? You probably thought that was a slider coming through. Probably. He's he's toying with you guys. He's toying with you. Top six. Another. Oh, I was gonna say another strikeout, but Finally. it's a walk. The perfect game, by the way, if you've been keeping track, the perfect game is over. Paris here to Voshek Menchik. Double okay. play. So we'll take this all the way to the top yeah. of the seventh. Okay, so I'm thinking Smith, he's going to be in AAA soon by this rate. Look at well, He challenged you. He challenged you. We are done with the seventh inning. Let's go top eight. Full count with two down. Another walk. Okay, all right. He's... Gassed. Yes, he is. Uh, we need a, we need an out. <laughs> we need an out here. If you guys have been keeping track, I'm not going to jinx it, okay? I'm not going to jinx it. Little pop-up here to Knowles. He makes the play. And let's take a look at that box score. Dude. There are no hits on the board for the Biscuits. Yeah, fan cam. Everybody's excited. Everybody's hyped up, guys. Here's a deep drive. We're looking for another run, but a great play out here by Pearson with the catch. And we are going to head to the ninth with Ryan Smith out of energy. Is he going to give up a knock or what? Let's see what we got. Here's McCann. He's 0 for 3 on the game today, and that ball is gone. Gone. You've yes. got to be kidding me. Whew. I'm sitting here thinking that, you know what? As a user against the CPU, you can never throw a no-no. Yeah. Uh, against another user, it's possible. It, it could actually happen. And then you knock a home run. And then you get out of here. <laughs> Freeze. Oh <my> <laughs> get out God. of here, man. You almost got no hit. And yeah. That's the celebration you're doing. Yeah. Whatever. You know, you threw me a nice little pitch and we knocked it out of the park. So Smith, his day is done. Pretty good effort, though. Pretty good effort. Eight innings. I mean, that's a, bro, it's a ridiculous. You got the Nard Dog in there. I can't believe you said that. Nardy. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting here playing the game. The Narda. I said, where is that from? And then I, I remembered. From the office. Yeah. Yep. It took me a minute. So a double here in the top of the ninth after the home run. And then we've got a bunt. And that's a good bunt. But I don't know what. We're just trying to have a little fun now. We're now, But now we've let you in the game now. Yes. It's, it's called official. drama. Yeah. We, we should have gone to first. Definitely. 100%. Ah, but here is Hermosillo with the catch in right, and now we got two down. One more left to go, guys, and it is a really nice W over Montgomery, and we're going to get it. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. I'm just glad I didn't suffer the indignity of getting no hit. That would have been pretty bad. I should have. Man, I wanted it so bad. I wanted it so bad. But it didn't happen. Ryan Smith improves to 12-8, and eight, guys, so he's... He's not just good at when I'm on the, on the sticks here. He's he's pretty good as it is. Yeah, and as far as guys, you know, Paulini, the guys that we acquired in our trades, probably looking at AAA next year. And, you know, your guys, I'm not sure who you got your eye on as far as AAA, maybe like Paris and Knowles for you next year, and definitely Smith. So that's a pretty good effort for him. Let's get out to our games at the Major League level. 15-82, 47-84. Only a couple games separate us. This is a big deal, okay? <laughs> Who is going to end up with a better record? These two games might prove to be pivotal. This is important. Yes, okay. So you have Jace Vines, your yep. call-up, and you're going up against Rymel Tapia, and you get a strikeout early. Yeah, let's... Let's see if we can have a better pitcher thrown out here and actually get a no-no on you, okay? We're, we're feeling good. We feel like I've toyed with you enough at the minor league level, like I can I can kind of do this now. But hey, I hit the ball pretty well in that double-A game. It just went at your defenders. Now, I have 6 do Sanchez. He is 1-9 with a 6 ERA. This is very bad for 6 do <laughs> Mr. 6 do as I call him. Oh, God. And the defense is not helping. 
matters <laughs> today. You hate the moving bar. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's it's, it's kind of a pain. Tough. You don't play it enough. It just it's annoying. But two one pitch here to my boy Dylan Moore gets a single. Now we've got runners on first and second. Jake Berger, our top hitter on the team, hitting all the home runs. All the extra base knocks that Jung Ho Lee in center field can't track it down. That's a two RBI double with nobody down and six though. <laughs> Did you know that he has a six ERA? He's one and nine with oh. a six point oh oh ERA. Might be seven after today. He's seven zero. Oh. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, g give it to me again. Okay, I dare you. Give it to me again. Okay. Oh one okay. pitch. Boosh. <laughs> see. You later. Two run shot. Make it four nothing in the bottom of the first with nobody down. Huh. Well, that was the exact you know. dialogue, by the way, when we're playing against each other. <laughs> I swung and missed at that thing. I'm like, give it to me again. I think I said deal. You said, That's what I said. Deal. <laughs> you said deal. And we just took him deep. Unbelievable. Six to is getting punished today. But we're, oh my God, throw the ball. <laughs> I don't know what Walls was doing. He took forever. Hey, there we go. Strike. Still, I think Jung. I think uh, Chen. I think he hit that baseball when it came back. Oh no! <laughs> no it's fine. What is going on? I don't here? know. Just I guess this is why we have a uh, 50 win team and a 47 win team wow. playing against each other. This stuff's going to happen. But um, Arrow Robinson is tagging here. We're gonna test your defensive ability here to make a great throw, and you make a perfect Oof. throw. Should have gone in head first. But Kiner Falefa with the outfield assist didn't even put a lot on that thing. He just said, "Oh, you're really you're really going." Well, we need him in outfield right now because we don't have a ton of outfielders with calling down Victor Victor and those guys. So we need him to help out there, and it's so far so good. But offensively, we are whiffing quite a bit here. Taylor Walls gets a piece of it, but it's going to go out there to Chen for the out, and yeah. so far more of the same. Lack of hits. Ah. Sixto's rebounding, though. Yeah, he, he's starting to settle down just a little bit. We do have a runner on. Framiel's going to chase again. Buster Posey coming up. Ground ball. Hot shot here to Walls. Flip the second. Makes the play. So the last two innings, he's kind of settled yeah. down a little bit. That will be the first hit for you guys in the top of the fourth inning. So no, no, no possibility here. It's been a minute, yeah. You know, I started, I just started throwing you out of the zone, and you yeah. have no discipline. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> well, I start getting confident, you know. Yeah. It's up 4 nothing. I'm like, oh, I can hit that. Oh, I can hit that. Whoa. And now you guys are coming back. Again, Max Stassi. Freaking love this guy. You hit with him all the time. It's not just him. It's just catchers. It's just catchers. I don't, know what, I don't know what it is about catchers, but I can hit pretty well. So make sure that you put Astadio at catcher. I could do that. <laughs> I can do that. So 4-1. to one. You got to... Runner on Taylor Wall. Is that going to drop? Oh no! What are you doing? I wanted to get flashy with it. I wanted to get flashy with it. We didn't. We just didn't need to dive. We did not need to do that. And we'll take a look at the replay here. I mean, it's one thing if you're going the right direction, Mason Hour. If you're going the right direction, <laughs> he went. He went right. Oh, just unfortunate. So you guys are now back in the game. Four to two. Let's go top six. We got a base hit. Yep, right in the corner. Luckily, stopped right at that jut out right there. Mm -hmm. And we had, if it was a good throw from Chen, we might have gotten Joey Votto at second base. But that is a two out double. Here's Max Stassi again. He's going to swing and miss. We planning that. Got to get him to be a little bit undisciplined in the box. Bottom six. Sixto is still out there. And he pitches another clean inning. What a rebound! Complete rebound. Anthony Ghost in the game. Haven't seen a ton of ghosts as far as pitching or pinch running. He's got an 8 ERA. Yeah, that's probably why. Robinson going to throw out Astadio, who can't run. Worth a crap. Okay. Tommy Lestella in. Hi. Oh, I kind of like him up there for Lestella. And you bring me up. And Adrian Beltre, who I've yet to hit a home run with. He's doing okay, though. For his age... CPU is hitting a few home runs. I can't seem to get it going. Six still comes out to pitch the seventh. That's that's kind of risky right now. It's you're you're close. It's a close game, and you're still gonna go with the guy at the six ERA. I guess you don't have anybody else to trust. But Mason Hour gets the first hit of his big league career. He was recently called up from the minors and delivers that base knock. Awesome job there. But 
Robinson's gonna get hit, and now with one down, you're in a kind of a tough situation here with your bullpen. Gotta come in and lock it down, guys. It's time. Kyle Crick time, as a matter of fact. He's pitching pretty good. Three games. Yeah, he's doing okay. Not a ton of innings, though, in the major leagues this year. He's coming up from AAA. Gets the out. So we got two out. Things looking dicey. Dylan Moore. Gonna jam him to La Stella. Throws a second. Could have gone the first, I guess. I forgot Sucks. the count. <laughs> Sucks. Yeah, you need that second brain again. Oh. Top eight with nobody down. Ghost is still out there. He's going to get walls. Okay, good play by Posey. All right, we need to settle down here. We need to get the one-two hitters right now. Tapia, foul ball. Ball boy makes the catch. That should be an out. <laughs> Dang it. Everybody's freaking out. He makes the great play. Should be illegal. One-two pitch. That's a nice fastball right there, man. Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful. Anthony Ghost gets the swing and a miss. And then, kind of play for the number two hitter. I, I'm just trying to be, be funny here oh. and make the play. And uh, Dylan Moore trying to jump over the invisible... Yeah. Um, what is the thing? The, the hurdle. Okay. <laughs> Let's try to jump over the visible hey, hurdle. There's I'll a hole in the, there's a hole in the ground over there. I'll take advantage. I don't care. Another base hit, and now you guys are like, I, I'm thinking we're gonna pay for this like stupidity, aren't we? Mason Hour in center field makes the catch, and we get out of the little jam there. Let's go bottom eight. Jake Berger swinging a miss, hoping for a home run there. Get it to five to two. Posey ground ball. Ask Studio, big man, making the soft toss over the first end of the inning. Good job for the savior. <laughs> Last chance for the saucers. Okay, here's Max. Ah, uh, late. Gonna take that it was the other a, way. That was a big pitch for us because that was a two-one count. You got to be looking for a strike. Yeah, swing and a miss there for Astadio. The savior. So much for that. So much for that. Go sit down. Lucas Sim says. And then a fly ball here to wow. right, and Chen barely had to move. Makes the catch. Game's over. Good win, four to two, and we now come within a game of you guys. And guess what? We have another game coming next time that we see you guys here in this franchise series. So the next episode will be the game number two of our two teams. Let's talk about this one to close it out. So one for four, home run for Framil Reyes. That was the one I challenged you on and you obliged, and you paid for it. <laughs> it's a mistake. We all make mistakes. Max Stassi, though, gets homer number 15. Sixto drops to 1 and 10. Things not looking up for Mr. Sixto. And Fran Mill again with the big game. Berger also chipping in there, and the pitching was good. Yep. But the next game. Oh, we can't. Is two, two games, actually. We're yeah. 48 wins. You're 50 wins. So. You got a little bit of catching up to do. Yeah. I got a little bit of breathing room, but things will be determined in September. But everybody seems to have high hopes and, you know, having some fun still after a very sucky season. But Nick Pavetta will be on the mound against. Your old man, R.A. Dickey, guys. Look at those numbers. Pitching good, man. Pitching good. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a like if you like this thing. We'll have the game here between Pavetta and Dickey. And then we're also going to have two other games, one for me, one for you. And then we're going to finalize the rest of the season, go over some stats, go over some performance and some production all the way across the organization, see who kind of deserves to come back. Maybe some guys are kind of on the fence. We'll look forward to hearing what your comments are about that. And that should do it. We'll get right into the offseason the following episode. Getting into free agency, getting into some more trade talks, things like that. So, guys, leave a like if you like this thing. We'll see you in the next one. As always, thank you so much for watching, and peace.